All right, let's get into uh, our main discussion, our first discussion now. The federal government has promised to complete the remaining section of the Ilori Ibadan Highway. But some portions of the already completed sections are now in very bad condition. In this report, our Kwara State correspondent Ibrahim Alige brings us up to speed with the situation on the Ilori Ibadan Expressway. It was an early morning ride from Ilori, the Kwara State capital, to neighboring Oyo states. The new Ilori Ibadan dual carriageway contract was awarded by the administration of former President Olusegun Obasanjo in 2002. It was divided into three sections Ilori Obumosho, Obumosho Oyo, and Oyo Ibadan. It's a smooth ride from Ilori to Bumosho. In fact, it costs just about 25 minutes uh, from Ayen Kori in Ilori to Bumosho uh, in Oyo State. Uh, one wishes that it's the same from Bumosho to Oyo and from Oyo to Ibado. This is not to be as the road terminated at Obumosho and later continued from Oyo to Ibado, leaving the only Obumosho Oyo section stalled. Here, we met these young men who have decided to fill the major pothole at the Obumosho end of the highway. We don't have any job opportunity. So now we now look for something for ourselves to be doing because we see the accident that happens to this place every time to time is uncountable. So we now find to come here to this place to be repairing this place time to time so that the accident sorrow will be lesser. An indication that an attempt had been made on the Obumosho Oyo Highway is this long culvert. For now, residents of Obumosho contend with heavy trucks plying their major road with the attendant traffic snarl and inherent dangers. We are employing the, the government of the day to kindly speed up the job so that the road will, will, will be speed up for the use of these trailers. So, so many lives are being destroyed on this road, so many goods, so many things, people are lost, uh, people lost so many things. Apart from the fact that the express road that is yet to be completed has put a lot of lives at risk, it has also affected the economy of, of this place called Obumosho. Now, it, we are not really pleasant about it. And actually, if the federal government can come to the aid of the citizens of this town to help us to see to the completion of the road, we'll be very glad and happy about it. Suko may soon come their way as the Obumosho or your highway is among the roads to be constructed by the federal government with the 100 billion naira Islamic Sukuk bond. The third section of the road is the Ojoi Badan Highway. Some of its portions are now death traps for motorists. This road has become a death trap for motorists. Properties have been lost here. We have had many promises from the government. Of hope they fix it it was commissioned three years ago, but today some portions of the Oyo Ibadan section of the Ilori Ibadan Expressway have already filled. And we understand that the Senate has already summoned the contractor to come and explain why this should happen when ordinarily this road should not undergo any major repair work within the first 15 years. And for residents of Ubumosho, their major wish is that the 2019 completion date for the Obumosho or your expressway is realistic considering the fact that not much has been done on the road. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News, or your states. Hmm. All right, uh, Ibrahim brought us that uh, update on the road and we have him joining us now on phone. Ibrahim, good morning. It's good to have you join us, really. Uh, yeah, I, I, know, I know you have uh, crossed the length and breadth <laughs> of the portions of this road but one of the things that caught my attention mm -hmm. uh, the little the, the young guys that are you know trying to come up with a palliative to Natural. help in the situation yeah. uh to prevent accident there 
tell us really, uh, what is their motivation to do all that they are doing and, and where are they getting help from? Primarily is because they do not have any means, any other means of survival. Uh, the person that spoke with me is actually a graduate uh, from Aoshi Polytechnic uh, because uh, there is no job. At least they have to find something uh, to uh, make a living. So that's why they are engaged there. And interestingly, I even met one person uh, with whom I went to the same primary school um, in the early 80s. And uh, after speaking with him, I, I, I identified him and asked him his name. And he told me, I said, did you remember me? He said, no. And I told him that we attended to some old primary school in London. And he was very happy. And he told me that because there was, there was this hardship, I couldn't make a living in Lagos. I had to you know, come down to Puma Shore you know, just to do something. I don't want to steal. I don't want to join the bad dance. So that's why they gathered themselves, you know. Um, and they told me in confidence that uh, some persons, you know, some motorists will visit them and drop some money for them. And that's how they make their living. Wow, it's interesting that you actually, in the course of doing this report, you encounter an old uh, <laughs> primary school mate of yours. That's, that's, that's it's a metaphor for how. Uh, the roads can lead, you know, in different directions. Yeah, uh, yeah. Speaking about uh, the Ogbomosho uh, or your end of that uh, particular road, we do gather that it is very precarious. But uh, I'm still curious about, you know, uh, Mike's interest uh, with that young man. We've heard reports that in many cases, uh, you have some of these uh, people actually do the damage to the roads uh, so that they can collect so they, money they can just, you know, exactly. fixing it. I wonder how yeah. much background you have about this. Well, not, not only them, uh, you have those who are selling, uh, you know, uh, all sorts of uh, goods, you know, around the area. Um, but I understand that uh, at some point, some of them will not even pray that uh, such uh, portions are fixed. Uh, because there's an opportunity for them to, you know, mo make a uh, quick business. Because there's no how any motorist will pass through that place without slowing down. And in the process, you know, they sell their wares, they sell uh, their goods and whatever they are selling. So it's an opportunity for some of them. Uh, but these, um, these young men that I met there, um, they were actually patching the road. But that spot is actually very bad. And that's not the only place that is very bad. Mm. As you move from, uh, you know, from between Ogum and Oyo, uh, virtually nothing has been done. But from Oyo to Ibadan, that uh, you know, was commissioned three years ago, you have so many portions that are actually bad. There's no how you get there without slowing down. I wouldn't know what they, are, they do at night. Uh, but in the day, I see them you know, packing these books. Uh, yeah. All right. The federal government has issued uh, a Sukuk Islamic bond, mm -hmm. which has been oversubscribed. Uh, that is, is a success story. Yeah. But one, uh, are we sure, is it clear whether this, um, this portion of the road that you have uh, gone to and, and told us about is part of the plan that uh, the federal government is uh, trying to repair? Yes, specifically the... Uh, Umo, sure, you are, the 52 kilometer road uh, is uh, going to benefit from this uh, Sukuk bond. Uh, remember that it was released to the uh, 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 Minister of Works, Babakundu uh, Raji Fashola, uh, just a week ago. And uh, Umo, sure, or your section of the Ilori Ibadan Expressway is uh, one of the roads to uh, be uh, constructed with this money. And it's going to benefit from the 16.6 seven uh, billion are allocated to the, to the south way. So if this is done, the Ilori um, Ibadan Express will, will now be completed. Remember that it was actually commenced by the former president, the Aulisha in 2002. But and up to today, uh, the road is yet to be fully completed. And even from the um, Ojo to Ibadan, is where you have lots of portions that have been you know, gone bad. Yes. Uh, we understand that the uh, the Senate Committee on Wealth has actually summoned the contractor to go back to fight. Because there shouldn't be any major repair on that road until after 15 years of its commissioning. And now just uh, three years, you still have a bad portion. So the Senate is actually not happy about it. And they have actually summoned the contractor to come and explain why this is so and possibly to go back to the site and ensure that, you know, it does a good job on that road. Uh, of course, uh, the Sukuk bond, uh, 100 billion era, mm. uh, has been approved. And we hear that uh, the uh, works minister, Babatunde Fashola, of course, has received that check uh, from uh, Adeoshun, the finance uh, minister. Do we have an idea of when the work will start uh, on that road? 
As it is today, um, uh, moving through that route, uh, I have not seen any sign of uh, the commencement of work, uh, probably uh, due to all the uh, necessary uh, bureaucratic processes you know, to go through. And uh, we understand that the, uh, the delivery date is 2019, but for us, it's what I saw on that uh, road, uh, Boma Shot to uh, nothing much has been done, not even up to 5%, uh, because I think, uh, except that bridge that I saw, uh, I've not seen any other thing, a lot of, you know, like, big forest in, in that area. So let's hope that uh, 2019, the contractor is serious, money is released on time, let's see what happens by then. But as it is today, I've not seen any sign of, you know, any work starting, you know, any time, uh, any moment from now. Mm. Ibrahim right. Alege, thank you so much, uh, correspondent there, uh, giving us a picture of the true state of uh, the roads. Uh, in a lorry, not only a lorry, mm. uh, so many others. Of course, 25 key economic roads exactly. are being targeted to be fixed with this Sukuk bond. Uh, Ibrahim Alega, thanks for joining us.